it's only a game, so put up a real good fight. I'm gonna be snickering you tonight. I'm playing for my aim, so you better believe I'm right. I'm gonna be snickering you, snickering you tonight. Take right! Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Davidson. And a special hello to our studio audience who have driven thousands of miles to see us hit little balls with big sticks. <laughs> Speaking of which, I'd like to take the opportunity to quash any rumours that you people at home might have heard about my driving ability. It's all in the act. It's all a joke. I've only ever committed three trivial traffic offences in my entire life. One for parking on the M25. <laughs> One for doing a U-turn in the Dartford Tunnel. <laughs> Well, it cost money, I went back. <laughs> <laughs> and one for driving 60 mile an hour. Not fast, is it? Through Marks and Spencers in Luton. <laughs> <laughs> to meet someone I drive up the wall every week, John Virgo! You. I've come in in a huff. I hate them foreign cars. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Chuckles? Whatever's up? The traffic was terrible coming in. I haven't eaten a thing all day. I'd kill for a curry. Yes, you'd probably kill me if you ate a curry. Look, forget <laughs> food. Forget, look, he's always on about food. The show must go on. Now, I've heard tonight you're going to amaze us with a super-duper opening red-hot snooker shot. Can't do it on an empty stomach. I'm only human. Look, look, just come and amaze us. You can eat later. Come on, what are you going to do? Come on. Yeah, I know what I mean. You're going to roll the white ball down, bounce all them reds off into the various corners, and then in. See, you don't need food for that. I'll get you banana afterwards. <laughs> I can't, can't play when I'm starving. Oh, men, they're all the same. Starving, hungry, well, there's no pleasing some people. Is <laughs> all right, son? Here. Dip your bread in, tell them nothing. Let's go meet the contestants. It smells nice, that, doesn't it? Where about you from, Liz? I'm from Malaysia, but I live in Bexhill on Sea now. What's Malaysia like? Is it nice? It is nice, warm, mm. humid. Yeah. Beautiful girls, lovely palm Just trees. Just go, go back one. Go back one. Go back two. <laughs> <laughs> it's humid. Humid. <laughs> beautiful girls. Yes, beautiful that's the palm stuff. trees. What are we doing trees? here, Virgo? Let's go. <laughs> Perfect. I'm on okay. my way. Come on, Liz. Get in. <laughs> You want a yellow one? Yes. She want a yellow one? She's got a yellow one! <laughs> <laughs> You've got a great sense of humour, but some little bird told me you used to be a nun, didn't you? Yep. Seven years. Well, in Malaysia? Half in Malaysia and half in England. What, it was a big nunnery? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, well done. I mean, that's great. Well, we'll have to get some divine help and see who we can get with a yellow ball. The Silver Fox, David Taylor! David Taylor! <laughs> Well, not bad. Not well, bad. you've got a little bit of divine help. Ex nun. I know. I know. I, know. Yes. It's, uh, I need all the help I can get, I think. <laughs> Give our yellow team a round of applause. Good luck. Where are you from, Barry? Doncaster. Doncaster. England. Uh, England. <laughs> what do you do for a living, Barry? I work in a glass factory. Well, I'll be blowed. <laughs> <laughs> what a blue one. Or a red one? Red one. Have a blue one. <laughs> well, it's a great potter and not far from where you live. Will you please welcome back to Big Break, Mike Hallett! Mike Hallett! Mike, you're from uh, somewhere up there on the Umber, aren't you? Yeah, Grimsby, that's not Grimsby. too far away. Family all right? Yeah, magic, thanks. How old's the little one? Uh, 18 months. Oh, Daddy came to play snooker! Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Daddy! How are you going out to get me that snooker, kid? <laughs> oh, it's great. My daughter's the same, you know. 
when he sees me on telly. I tell him, my daddy, my daddy. She's marvellous. She's only 21. <laughs> right, so our blue team, give him a big clap. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, the rest of the old, the old plates are not... Well, the old back's gone, you know. Mixing with Virgo, it rubs off. Look at him, look, eh? Face that launched a thousand ships. <laughs> they used it to knock the chocks away. <laughs> Come on, Kath. Give us your life story in a couple of minutes, then. Don't tell me you used to work for, um, air roasters. Yep, British Caledonian. They don't happen anymore, though, do they? No, they, they stopped after I left. Ah, oh, well, yes. Well, they've got no-one else to kick-start the jumbo. <laughs> <did it. laughs> You hear us just say the exits are here, here, and here. Come on, come and give us the bit. Stand up. We want to see this where the exits are, ladies and gentlemen. Right, go on. You stand there. Imagine that camera there is the aisle, the audience, and I'll be the dong. Right. There are two doors at the rear, four at the overwing exits, and two at the forward part of the aircraft. Fantastic. Give her a clap. Kathy, <laughs> yeah. do you have a family? No, but two dogs. One left for you, love. There we are, the lady with the two dogs. Do we have a snooker player represented by Ribble? One of the great new talents in the game from London, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Ronnie O'Sullivan. <laughs> Getting ready, you've been in the shower, you've been limbering up in it, his arm's been like that. Oh, well, actually, it's been like that for the last hour. <laughs> so, good luck. Welcome, Ronnie. Enjoy yourself. Let's play our first game, ladies and gentlemen. It's called Red Hot. Give him a clap. <laughs> OK, snooker snoopers, here we go. Ten seconds of free time for each <laughs> contestant. Well, for each snooker player on the table, for each question answered correctly, an extra ten seconds, OK? Liz? Yes. Which film star, famous film star, went to Oz with a dog called Toto? Uh, Judy Garland. That's it, Judy Garland. <laughs> <laughs> Forwards, it is used to describe cats, dogs, birds. And backwards, Neil Armstrong took a small one... <laughs> ..and it was a giant leap for mankind. He said, that's one small... Hmm, for mankind, and that same words backwards is dogs, cats, pets, and two pets, things that have made pets, and, pets steps. and steps. Absolutely right. Clever these questions. Nice clap for me. <laughs> right now, this is a trick one. A doctor is called to a casualty to operate on a little boy. <laughs> <laughs> to operate on a little boy, right? As a doctor is called to operate on a little boy, and the doctor says, "I cannot operate on this little boy. This boy is my son." But the doctor is not his father. How is that possible? Think, do you know? Can I have a little whisper? That's it then. It's so we've all got to get a it's clue on the first one. Conf it's what? mother. The doctor is his mother. mother. Correct. <laughs> 40 seconds. <laughs> John, belt out the old rules, boy. Put as many balls as you can. Oh. <laughs> Cheerful Charlie. OK, David, we'll ask you to make your break. You've got 40 seconds, but of course they don't start until after you've made your break. Don't let John's enthusiasm put you off. <laughs> <laughs> As you know, that clock will start the next time you strike the cue ball. One. Oh, oh, oh. Two. Oh, we get him move on now, Riz. <laughs> Three. Oh, oh. two. I rack my brain for a Malaysian swear word then. <laughs> oh, Virgo. <laughs> That's three. Six seconds, Dave. <coughs> That's four. Hit something quick now. <laughs> David Taylor scores four. <laughs> Okay, Barry. Here you go. Which fictional reporter has a dog called Snowy? Tintin. How do you know that? Urge's <laughs> Adventures of Tintin. Correct. Forwards, you need to make 36 of these to score 147 in snooker. And backwards, it's what you do at a red traffic light. Pots and stop. Pots and stops. Correct. Now then, <laughs> listen to this. Spell 
Chop. C-H-O-P. Spell shop. S-H-O-P. What do you do at a green traffic light? Stop. You don't, you go, don't you? <laughs> So, we take those 30 seconds away. <laughs> Look at Mike. Oh, no! Here we go, then. That's very great. You've got, you got 30 seconds. This is for maximum time. The other day, I watched a football match, comma. The final score was 4 all. No man scored more than one goal, and yet only three players had got the ball past the goalkeeper. How come? Come on, have yeah. a little conference here. What's he called, no man? No. <laughs> <laughs> There's no men playing. What were playing? It was a woman's team. Women! <laughs> yes, Barry, the cogs have dropped. Yes, he <laughs> shoot himself in the head. Come on, Mike, take the table. <laughs> OK, Mike, you've got the maximum time. <laughs> Uh-oh, at the moment, you need four... Well, more than four to be in the next round. That's the best none I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, no offence, Liz. <laughs> One. I love Mike's run, don't you? You can whistle a little tune to it. Two. <laughs> Three. Oh, he did the funny skip. <laughs> four. That's it, you've equaled the score now. Get this one in, I'll really start irritating you. Five. Good. Six. Oh. Seven. This one for the equal <clears throat> record. <laughs> Mike Hallett scores seven! <laughs> here we go, then. I think I might creep up here and do these ones, just to put you under pressure a bit more, right? <laughs> Which group of famous fictional children had a dog called Timmy? Famous Five. <gasps> Correct. Their names were? Don't matter. George, <laughs> George Julian, and, Anne and... Grubble and Dunk. <laughs> Halfbutt, Grubble, Dink and Dunk or something, isn't it? <laughs> Two. Forwards, it means ejected water <laughs> from the mouth. Oh. And backwards, you turn these on to fill the bath. Spat and taps. Spat and tap. I love it when the audience get an easy one. They all shout out. Wait till they get hard one, they all go. They've been a really good audience, you know. OK, this is for maximum time. Many people think that Gladstone was a great Prime Minister, but his wife obviously didn't think so. And she never once voted for him. How come? Well, we didn't have the vote in those days. You're right. OK, Kathy, you've done well. Ronnie, take the table. OK, Ronnie. Put as many balls as you can. <laughs> You've got to beat four. To be in the next round, we'd ask you to make a break. Clock starts next time you strike the cue ball. Any good, Ron? Four to beat. Mm, not bad. Not bad. Records eight. One. Two, three, four, still four, over ten seconds, five, six, say goodbye to Liz and David. Will you join me on the top of this little platform with the shark tank underneath? Come on, come down. <laughs> right, Dave. Yes. Thanks for coming along. It's, it's, it's over so quick, isn't it, eh? It is. It is. It is. It is. Yeah. This is harder than the World Championship, isn't it? I don't know. I've not won that either. <laughs>
as honest of you. Liz, we've got some goodies for you. You've got a big break snooker cue and you've got your big break trophy. We'll give you a little uh, big break game. Let's see if we can get you a proper BBC as advertised by a Shaw Taylor Prize as we set up one of John Virgo's trick shots. <laughs> OK, Liz. From your best Malaysian tater, John. OK, pal, let's see the waistcoat. OK, well, it's... Hang on, hang on. We're going to have this in Malaysian, mate. Oh, sorry. What is it again? Can we see your waistcoat? Can we see your waistcoat, please? I knew I could speak. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Let's have a look. I'm possible. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, Liz. This trick shot is quite interesting. I'm a kaleidoscope when you was a kid. That's what that looks like. Then. <laughs> What's this, Liz? What we got? We got the yellow, green, brown, blue, red, pink, then the black. And what we're going to do? We're going to pot that red into the middle pocket. OK? And it works like this. Of course you are. Just a minor adjustment. There you go. I like it. Thank you. You're either very clever or very sneaky, and I've got a rough idea which it is. <laughs> Let's see what prize you can take home. My beard's fell off. <laughs> well, Jim, tonight's successful trick shot winner can enjoy a meal for two at their local French restaurant. Oh. Now, if you're really clever, you'll tell the BBC you live near Paris. <laughs> Go on, John. There you go. Go okay, over there, Liz, and John will put you through your paces. Right. Hopefully. Don't be frightened to hit this. Oh. I'm oh, sorry, I was... Uh, yeah, OK. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Put your hand. And push the cue right through the middle of that Hang ball. on, a bit down. Drop the old arm a bit. That's, That's it. right. And pretty firm, and pot that red next to the pink. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to see it again, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. You said this was easy. Speed of light, this girl. Right. <laughs> Just concentrate, and, and you must keep the cue through that ball. Just push it hard. Yeah! Before. No, that was good. You see, had to go. It was a bit of a trick at the first yeah. attempt, but anyway, you've won that lovely prize—a night out on a, you know, a bit of French scoff, and you've also got your snooker bits and pieces to take back with you and the snooker game and all those stuff oh, from the BBC. You've you enjoyed yourself? Very much, thank you. Good, isn't he lovely? He is. He is, isn't he? Strange woman. Let's <laughs> play pocket money. Time for big money. Toss a coin. Heads or tails? Heads. It's a head. Do you want to go first or second? Second. Second, then go up there and have a nice little chat. Right then, here we go, Barry. Dead simple. Mike will pot all the balls. When he misses one, like a red, I'll ask you a question on potluck. If he misses a green one, it's a question on music. Now have a look up there, mate, and see what you don't fancy. All of them. All of them? <laughs> Is it dead easy peasy, mate? Might even help you out a little bit. <laughs> right, explain the rules then. Barry, you come up with me and we'll get these questions out of the way. OK, Mike, I certainly remember the pocket money table. Six red, six coloured balls, numbers on them are the value in pounds. Keep your eyes open for the double pockets. You pot the blue ball, it's a £50 ball, into the blue pocket indicated on the screens at home. That doubles up to £100. Bear that in mind, get more money for Barry, and we'd ask you to make your break. OK, Barry, if you don't know the answer, just say pass or something like that, and we'll uh, get on with it. Go on, then, boys. It's down to you, boys. OK, Go Mike, boys. don't forget, if you miss a shot, you've got to wait for Jim to give the OK to carry on. 90 Where's seconds. Where's Jimmy Bart, then? I like him. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Jimmy. He's my favourite. Got hair cut with a hole in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a pal of mine. <laughs> just cos you ain't got hair cut with a hole in it. <laughs> All right, 90 seconds will start when you strike the cue ball. That's it's got work. a face with a hole in it. Miss Red. <laughs> <clears throat> Did Danny DeVito or Robin Williams play the penguin in the second Batman film? Danny DeVito. Correct play. We're I haven't off. seen that yet. Ten pounds. Where did it come out on the widescreen, black. you know? There's Posh. 
Then that's eight. There you bang that one in, son. Must have had a Miss Red. Do the numbers one, two, three, four, and five add up to fifteen or twenty? Fifteen. They do. Play. Hold well on. Another ten pound, that's ninety pounds. Pink. <laughs> Sixty pounds for the pink. And it's going in. It's hundred and fifty pounds. 160 pounds. Can you get through to the pink? Tough blue. Oh, great shot. Wow. 210 pounds. Well played, Mike. Great shot. 220 Ooh. pounds. <coughs> Miss Black. In which Hitchcock film did Grace Kelly stab her attacker with scissors? Psycho or Dial M for Murder? Dial M for Murder. Correct, play. Hurry on. Miss Red. Name the longest running BBC children's programme. <laughs> Get down, Shep. Pull Peter. Correct, play. <laughs> hey, Mike, maybe time for another £10 here. Will it reach? <laughs> Mike Allen scores £220! <laughs> OK, Ronnie, £220 to beat, to be in the final of this week's big break. We'd ask you to make your break. OK, Cathy, if you don't know the answer, say, I'm Cathy, fly me, and we'll carry on. <laughs> OK, 90 seconds starts when you strike the cue ball. Miss Red, who is the host of BBC TV's main event? Pass. Used to do Tiswas. Pass. Chris Tarrant. Here we go. Was Madonna or Sharon Stone the star in Body of Evidence? Uh, Sharon Stone. It was Madonna. Oh, Good one. In Trivial Pursuit, what colour are the entertainment questions? Pink. Yes, they are. Ten pounds. We're off and running. They're the only ones I can get. Eighty pounds. Ninety pounds. 160 pounds. Isn't it funny, Mike? You've got a funny run. He's got a jog. <laughs> 170 pounds. Here we go. He's having a funny old jog. <laughs> Miss Black, and you're in the final. Yes, 240 pounds. Keep going. <laughs> Miss Red. Which famous diver invented the aqualung? Uh, Jacques Cousteau. He did. Well done. £250. I Just thought it was dry 300. <laughs> 300 pounds. <laughs> 310 pounds. Oh, and a double pink, 120. Quickly. <laughs> Your choice of a few things. You've got your big break snooker cue, you've got your big break trophy, and you've got £220. Give them a nice clap, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, Cap, chance to win a few prizes. Ronnie, can you break the balls up for the final? I think you know how it's done, mate, don't you? He's had a little run round before. He's done it before as well, hasn't he? Yeah. Uh-oh. The funny pink's run away. OK, Kath, now then, the pink's run away with the blue, so we need to get most of them red balls off. I'll ask you five questions. For each correct answer, we can remove one red ball from the table, allow Ronnie and John to plot the end. Oh, I got quite excited, Ben. You get them all down, one minute, 30 seconds, including the job lot of questions, you win this job lot of prizes. Any reds left on the table tonight, Jim, and our winner will take home this instant camera. The yellow gone and the freedom offered by a cordless phone and answer phone is also theirs. Or travel to an exotic lunch on the Orient Express by clearing the green. Down the brown and they can review their favourite big break moments on this portable colour TV and recorder. 
clear the blue and a country weekend at Foss Farmhouse is on offer. Or they can update their kitchen with this combination of the latest washer-dryer, dishwasher and microwave for sinking the pink. Finally, pop the black to clear the table and win tonight's mystery star prize. Here we go, Kathy. It's all in here. Well, look, quick. Right, here we go. One minute, 30 seconds for the job lot. As quick as you can, Kathy. If you don't know the answer, just say pass. And I'll, um... <laughs> oh, okay. All right, then, Kath. Your time starts now. Good luck. Hugh Hefner is associated with which magazine? Playboy. <clears throat> in Hey Diddle Diddle, which animal jumped over the moon? The cow. It did. Which Old Testament king advocated cutting a baby in two? Solomon. How many stars there are on their American flag? Uh, 52. Oh, uh, it's 50. When Columbus started his exploring, hope to arrive where? In India. Well, the Far East. Right. We'll give you that. Stop the clock. We got four, and we took a little bit of time over the last one, but that is fair. He did actually hope to get to the Far East in Japan. The India, I see what you mean, because of the West Indies, yeah, which is a modern myth, but there we are. Okay, right. I'm waffling on here. Don't want this. Glad um, that's over. I'm thinking of leaving that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we move that one, you want to leave that one? No, I'll take that one away. Which one? Keep that one now. No, keep, keep that, that one there. Take that away. Take that away. And this one. And take that away. Okay, leaves you two reds. I'll get the rest just in case you run out of position. I must tell you, after the red, you must go for a colour, then the colours in sequence. You've got one minute, seven seconds, which will start when you strike the cue ball. Wish you the best of luck. That's the red. OK. Well, here's the start. Oh, fair enough. We'll do with that going in. Great shot. Great shot. That's an instant yeah. camera. Time. Doesn't matter about that, you're on the yellow. Oh, not in a great place for the yellow, though. No. You like cameras? <laughs> all right, then. You've got over th 35 seconds, so. Oh, That's the cordless phone. Now, now. Go for the green. Lunch on the Orange Express, this is for. Great. You can take pictures of yourself eating. Get across the blue. Unlucky. Oh, still got time. Slid. Oh dear. I think it just goes. I think it just goes. Great oh, shot! Yeah, right. Keep on. On TV. Let's have this blue in. The blue's in. Oh, that's a great that's a great play. That's a great <laughs> play. Pink or a blue prize? That was a pink prize. That was a pink prize. Well, that is a fantastic wash of grass. This was your microwave. And you got 310 quid and your red prize with instant camera. Fantastic. Well done. Fantastic. You can have a kiss for one second. Mm. Mm. What about? <laughs> Give me a nice clap, ladies and gentlemen. Wonderful time. Thanks for Barry. Thanks to Mike. Thanks to Liz. Thanks to David. Have a nice lady. Good night, JV. Cheers to Sneaker Bands on Big Red. The countdown begins on a special challenge for Annika in a few moments on BBC One. I'm playing for my